What would happen if the SCP Foundation were to contain the creator of all things? Hello everybody, I am Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-343, God. Let's begin. Item number SCP-343, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-343 resides in a 6.1 meter by 6.1 meter or 20 foot by 20 foot room at Minimal Security Site 17. It should be brought any items it requests and visited by at least one staff member each day. Attempts to add further safety precautions or required clearances are unnecessary or impossible due to the nature of SCP-343. Description SCP-343 is a male, seemingly raceless, humanoid in appearance with apparent omnipotence. SCP-343 was discovered walking the streets of Prague and detained after a staff member witnessed him disappear from the streets and reappear on a rooftop. SCP-343 is detained willingly in his chamber as containment has proved impossible. See notes. Addendum 343-1 SCP-343, colloquially nicknamed God by the staff here, looks like an older man, although his features are different to each observer. In my first talk with him, he claimed outright to be the creator of the universe. When I asked him to prove this, he laughed, walked through the wall of the chamber, and returned seconds later with a hamburger in his hand. When I returned for a second visit, the previously bare cell had been furnished in upscale, old English style, complete with a roaring fireplace and seemed many times larger than it did from the exterior. SCP-343 greatly enjoys speaking with people and seems to have a knowledge of all topics. Visiting with SCP-343 has become a daily event for many of the staff here and all employees report feeling generally happier after each visit. Attempts to bar staff below level 3 clearance have proven unsuccessful as guards assigned to watch the room quit their posts, saying, you know he likes company, or shrugging when questioned. Since SCP-343 has thus far been harmless, all staff have been allowed access and somehow they all have time to meet with him for as long as they need. For now, I leave this report open as further questioning of SCP-343 is ongoing. From Dr. Beck Warning. Security level 4 or higher needed for further access. Addendum 343-2 In regards to document 343-1A, there are no relevant records available or seemingly in existence, and similarly, all records of Dr. <laughs> ever working with SCP-343 or Dr. Beck are missing and presumed non-existent. All staff questioned about the document convey ignorance of document 343-1A and claim not to have met Dr. In a related matter, Senior Officer Dr. Beck has requested a higher staff rotation to increase morale in worse off sections. This is a very odd request and was the subject of further investigation. Other localized anomalies such as better health, greater job satisfaction, and lower fatalities in this section have led to the request being granted. This subject is now closed on orders of O5- <coughs> Addendum 343-3 Data recovered on <coughs> from routine check of Dr. <coughs> network drive. Document 343-1A Data lost. As of data expunged, visitors of SCP-343 are to be questioned as to their intent and converse. Data lost. Questions pertaining to other SCP are to be put for data lost. Orders of Dr. D <coughs> Document 343-1B. Data lost. Apparently, my orders have gone missing. This is the last straw, Dr. Ben. Data lost. All my reports and requests to higher ups have gone unnoticed. I will confront SCP-343 tomorrow. Signed, Dr. D I don't know about you guys, but to me, something feels awfully suspicious about this SCP. But anyways, that's just an assumption. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and would like to hear more, 
please consider liking and subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, if there are any SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.